Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider, back with another video. Today we are around Baltimore, riding around Lock Haven Reservoir. The sun just came out for the first time all day. It's absolutely beautiful out. The leaves are changing on the trees. I think this is going to be a great little ride. It's only about a 17 mile loop around the reservoir. But it happened to be in Annapolis. I had to take the Challenger in to my dealer at Chesapeake Cycles and get the gas tap cap fixed and you know have them check out all the things I've been talking about on my videos. We'll cover that when we get on the road. We're in sport mode today for sure. All right, let's get on the road. Beautiful day out, guys. So before we get into this ride, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. I put my ride and ride related content out every Friday. Hit that subscription button, click the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when my new videos are out. As for why I'm riding a reservoir around Baltimore, You know, when I put up a new video, I usually go onto Reddit. There's an Indian motorcycle subreddit, and I'll put a link to my videos and tell them what I thought was great about it. And, you know, I usually get some cool comments. And when I put up my Susquehanna River ride, someone who rides around here frequently suggested that I come check out the Baltimore Reservoirs. You know, if you're willing to head all the way up to Pennsylvania, for a ride you might as well check out Baltimore and that's totally cool Ooh. and honestly I had never heard of the Baltimore Reservoir so you know I went on to Google I checked it out and it turns out there are these three reservoirs up here that are super popular for motorcycle rides so I've never done this ride before I don't know what to expect but I already dig it oh that's gorgeous Anyways, I figured uh, I was in Annapolis getting the bike serviced, and I might as well check out this ride. And on that note, uh, just to update you on the Challenger, you know, there are various issues I had encountered with the bike when I first started riding it, and I talked about those in my intros. These are some twisties. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Got to kind of pay attention so I don't crash my beautiful shiny new motorcycle. These are sport bike curves, not bagger curves. I know they just ran the King of the Baggers race and the, the Challenger cleaned up, but still, come on. Anyways, back to my service issues. So the things that I had, had mentioned to you in past videos were that kind of knocking, oh, it's closed. Well guys, the road is closed. I don't know where else to go. 
you know, we'll just tool around around here. I don't know. That's really annoying. came anyways okay so the service issues the knocking noise and vibration from rear cylinder deactivation the sluggish ride command uh, trouble starting the bike on a cold start and there was a throttle issue on the throttle issue I mean I put almost 1700 miles on the bike it has no throttle issue uh, I spoke with my dealer service manager last week and he was telling me that the computer on the bike learns your throttle inputs and will smooth out over time and it's absolutely true the throttle is a thousand times better than it was when I first started riding the bike there's Bambi again so that, that's all that, that's not an issue anymore um, on the rear cylinder deactivation they've been doing research and I guess Indian mechanics have their own internal website they can use and it's been noticed by other mechanics the issue is apparently a software fix that has yet to be issued and it has something to do with uh, when the rear cylinder deactivation goes on it's like gas in the cylinder I don't know I couldn't really explain it to you all I care about is that it's a known issue that my dealer witnessed it recognizes that it's not normal that other mechanics recognize it's not normal and you know as far as I know Indian is, is gonna come up with a fix that's what really matters uh, you know keeping rear cylinder deactivation off isn't the end of the world until that happens um, but I feel better about that as far as ride command goes you know there are no new software updates they understand my concerns about it and there is uh, on this internal website that the mechanics use there is a a discussion for Ride Command 2.0 and I guess it's discussions related to things that need to be fixed in the next software update and all of the experiences I've had so far are on the list so it's just a matter of Indian doing a software update and fixing it so that's also a positive on the cold start issue they don't know what's going on um, they checked the battery battery connections they checked all of that and everything's operating normally the battery is giving the bike the amount of juice that it needs um, and the best they could do was say you know keep your eye on it let's see how it goes they have posted a message on that internal website to see if anyone else is experiencing these issues which is good you know I mean it's a new bike hopefully nobody's experiencing these issues and you know it'll work itself out or, or They'll come up with a fix. I don't know. Um, but I appreciate the efforts they went into to address my concerns. And another thing that I thought was cool is, you know, at Chesapeake, you know, the service manager is like, hey, you know, so and so's working on your bike. Why don't you head back there and talk to him? And so you go back there, they got your bike up on the lift. I think that's cool. Like, for me, I dig it. We're going to go left here. Down here. Oh, that's a detour, see? Anyways, long story short is, you know, the issues are not uncommon, or at least they're common enough that Indian mechanics are aware of them and discussing them, uh, which makes me content knowing that, you know, eventually there will be a fix. I'm just enjoying riding the bike. hear that engine. Now, I'm 
not pushing it because I've never been up here. And that would be my recommendation to anybody riding a big red motorcycle on a road you've never been on. <laughs> if you're riding a black motorcycle, have at it, man. You know, that's, that's at least 25% less power at your disposal than the bright red. So, I'm not concerned for your safety. up here we rode through the harbor tunnel and I'm gonna go back that way because I mean I need to rev bomb the tunnel and get it on camera <laughs> I'm a child I love it Guys, these are some twisties. up here guys this One thing I meant to mention about my dealer service personnel, they were very cool. They were awesome today, very helpful, inquisitive. I love that they let me go back into the shop. <laughs> Just sweet. Lots of tools. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm very, very happy with Chesapeake Cycles. They gave me an awesome deal on my Chieftain. And their service guys are doing their best on my bike for these, you know, little issues that aren't that big of a deal, but they're issues, so we'll get it squared away. And they let me ride a Triumph, man. Come on. Well, guys, we are just about done with our little ride around Lock Haven Reservoir. Highly recommended if you're in the DMV. If you're in the DC area, don't forget about Baltimore. There are a few more reservoirs we're going to be checking out before you know it. We'll, we'll do a little Baltimore Reservoir series. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Like I mentioned, I put my ride, ride related content out every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and you'll get an alert every time my new videos are out. 
And again, I love getting comments from folks who watch my videos. It's a lot of fun to talk about my videos, my bikes, your bikes, you name it. So by all means, comment down below or reach out to me on my social media and I'm happy to chat about bikes all day long if I'm not working. Until next time, DMV Solar Rider is out. Please be safe out there.